Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a mix that sounds like this. Sound like this. All by using Studio One plugins. This is a third video in the series where in the first video we used Slate products to master a song. And the second video we used BX Master Desk, which comes in the UA platform. And in this video, we're just gonna be using the effects that you can get with Presona Studio One. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to load a fat channel into my main outputs. I'm gonna push this button here, which gives us the stacked view so we can see everything that's going on. Let's load in a compressor first of all, and I'm gonna use a classic comp, which is a Neve emulation. Let's bring it in. Right, I really just want to be tickling the compressor here, so we're not going to be doing a lot. Let's just turn it up to two to one. And let's bring the recovery back so it's at its fastest. Right, I don't want to add any extra gain. And I'm pretty happy with the threshold. All I really want to be doing, as I said earlier, is just tickling that needle. Let's bypass it. And bring it in. So that's just adding a little bit of glue. Right, let's bring in an EQ. Let's turn that on. And what I'm gonna do here is to bring in a Baxen dial. What I'm gonna do is take the high cut and the low cut off. Let's just bring the low end frequency up to zero as I'm only worried about the high end. Right, let's turn the shelf up to about 2.5K. Let's just turn it up a little bit. A Baxen dial style EQ is quite subtle. So let's just take it all the way up to the top so I can demonstrate that. Turn it all the way up. Bring it back. And let's leave it about two. Let's bypass the whole plugin to see what difference it's made. And bring it in. Now I'm gonna bring in a limiter so we can get the level up. The first thing I'm gonna do is to decrease the ceiling just to about minus one dB. And let's turn up the input now. Now I'm never a fan of overly compressed mixes, so I think this limiter is a really nice transparent sounding limiter. It's really good, but you don't really want to go much past what I'm doing at the moment here with the gain reduction. So let's have a quick look at the release. I think we could slow it down just a fraction. Let's try it about there. And let's bypass that. And bring him. Let's bypass both the plugins. And bring him. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.